Hi, Jessica Shales here, and this is a quick tutorial teaching you how to use the timesheet template that's available to download from Fluid Webworks. Uh, this is a timesheet that I use um, each month in my business to keep track of the paid work that I do for clients, but also for my personal projects so that I know how much time I'm spending on what, so that I can provide clients a breakdown of what I've done with my time and their money and really see where my you know where the leaks are in my business time wise and it's a really invaluable tool so i've opened the template up here and you can see that this tab is actually the master sheet and this is where you get a, an overall breakdown of all the hours that you've done in each of the areas at the moment it just says job one job two job three etc and the same in your tabs and what you do is replace job one with one of your jobs in both of those instances and uh, that means that it, it reflects so tab one anything tab one reflects will, will be shown here so let's start off um, you may know that I work with a I have a website called everything for redheads with my mum it's a business that I run uh, so I'm just going to place this with everything for redheads well I'm probably just going to call it redheads because I know what it is you know just use a word that matters to you and the second one I'm going to put in is Fluid Webworks because, as you know, this is uh, one of my other companies. So then what needs to happen is for you to reflect that in the tab name as well so you've got an idea of where to write, write it in. So Redheads will go into Job 1. You can see I've um, highlighted the tab down here. And then Job 2 uh, needs to be Fluid. That's fine. I know what that means. I'm going to skip back over to... Uh, redheads. This is your timesheet. It runs Monday to Sunday and 7am until 1 in the morning because being a sole trader that's sometimes you can have kind of weird hours. You might not work during the day, you may end up working on something on a project in the evening and it's important to be able to do that. What I've provided here is I think it's actually six weeks because sometimes the month begins on a Sunday in which case it kind of goes into, kind of spans over. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is put into this first page what day the month started on and because it's actually January the 1st um, today and it's a Sunday I'm going to stick in there 1 and then go down to the next day is, is Monday so that's 2 and just go through this now I'm going to do that it doesn't take too much time but I'm going to pause and come back to you when I finish this Okay, so now that's done, it um, didn't take that much time, but I'm sure that you, you probably can't be bothered to just watch me go all the way through. Now, you might have to think, oh god, have I got to do this on every tab, but you don't. Once it's done on one, you just select that whole column by clicking here, B, press copy, like either control C or, or copy, and then on the next sheet, press this tab down here, and then just paste it in. And as you can see now, if we scroll down, that's that's filled filled all the dates in so you, you can do that with every single tab I'm only doing these two for illustration purposes but it, it makes it quite easy now um, say for example I did um, three hours work today on redheads then I would put in here the, the roughly the time period I might have been half you know it might have been um, half ten that I started so I probably put half five um, sorry point five in here which is half an hour one one um, and then maybe another 0.5. So we've got three hours total. And as you can see up at the top, the week's total has updated and so has the month. Then I would probably put a brief note on what I've been working on. So maybe updates to the website, market research, oh, market research, something like that. You know, however many details you want. This is either for your reference or for the person who you provide this to. Uh, at the end of the month is up to you. Now I'm going to do the same kind of thing for my fluid web works uh, just back over onto this tab and maybe say that okay I had a bit of a break and then from five to six I just did maybe an hour and like 10, 10 20 minutes or something. The fractions how specific you are is really up to you and I'm just going to say um, watching some how-to videos because it doesn't need to be stuff, it, it really depends, if it's your own personal projects then any time that you spend on it you might want to put in here just to say that you, you've done something. So to show you how this actually works on the master sheet we're going to go back over here and you can see here that the three hours that I spent on redheads today is updated and not fluid web works, it's 1.2. 
at the bottom we've got the total hours that you've worked for the whole month and if I wanted to put in an hourly rate here then then everything will, will uh, change so for example I'm just going to put anything in here maybe say it's 50 well, you both know that, well anybody who's watching this knows that these are my businesses so that an hourly rate isn't applicable but I'm going to put them in there and I might charge something differently for this other client depending on whatever agreement we've got so automatically the earnings per client um, updates and this is at the bottom helpful for you to know how much income you've got for that month so this earnings per client is helpful for your invoicing system and additional costs are anything that you any costs that you incur on behalf of the client that you might want to bill them for or anything that you've agreed is on top of your usual um, payment so that's that now down here we've got a quick pie chart that actually breaks down the percentage of time that you spent on each job it's quite easy to see I've spent more time on redheads this month but it's really interesting um, how much time over the course of the month especially if you're working on lots of other projects you might think oh I should really have done some more work on that project and you can kind of drop in on here and get a, a breakdown at any point of where you are and that's the reason why I find it so valuable you really do get a breakdown almost like a budget of your time in this master sheet and it's brilliant so then once you finish the month save it and if you want to for example if I was billing fluid web works what I would do is highlight everything in here by clicking up there press Control C or copy and then open a brand new Excel spreadsheet and just paste it in there and then you can save it as fluid web works like um timesheet for january and email that or or send it to your client along with the invoice so that they've got a detailed breakdown of what you've been doing and it, i think it really helps to build that trust with clients now if you found this valuable then you may also find it valuable to have a look at the time time budget that i've developed uh which is to help you decide if you've got more time to take on a new project rather than rather than paying attention to what you are doing it it allows you to consider what you might want to do in the future so i hope that you've liked this if you add in, have any comments any amendments that you think would be valuable any ways that you've used it in your company then please comment below or send me an email i would love that thank you bye